I, I received a lot of questions uh, whether it's possible to use uh, regular clay without a kiln or where can I find the kiln? Is it really important to fire uh, the kiln, uh, fire the ceramics in the kiln? And the answer is it's not possible to use regular clay without a firing process. Um, it's very fragile, uh, it doesn't hold anything, so it's really important to fire the uh, regular clay. It's impossible to make a cup without a firing and without a glazing. And if you don't have an oven or uh, if you don't have a kiln, uh, you can find some pottery studio and they can fire in general. Then, then for some money they can fire it for you. If you want to try to make some sculpturing, uh, you can try air dry clay. Main advantages of air dry clay is this material um, doesn't need firing process. Uh, it's easy to work with. Uh, you don't need any experience. It's cheap. And you can find it in any um, uh, shop with uh, hobby supplies. We have to talk about uh, disadvantages as well. Uh, you cannot use uh, air dry clay for, for tableware. First of all, it is not waterproof. If you want um, to create a plant pot, for example, you need to use um, a waterproof base and then add the clay only for decoration. Uh, it's hard to find information about uh, uh, what it consists of, uh, but in general it's the glue and the paper, and you don't want to eat with it. And the covering is with acrylic paint or some other paints, so you don't want to use it for food. Some other types that you can use uh, for sculpturing is the polymer clay, but um, it's a plastic and I, I, I don't want to produce more plastic. So air dry clay is the great option for people who just want to try uh, some sculpturing, but uh, it's not safe for food and it's not waterproof. One Pinterest comment inspired me uh, to try air dry clay and I decided to compare it with the uh, regular clay uh, items. I have these two cups. Um, I have one more, but uh, whatever. Uh, for them, I used the same template, um, this one, and I'm going to use the same one for air dry clay cup. And at the end, I will compare uh, those two cups with the uh, air dry clay. Um, because I will use the same technique, I will use the same template and I will use the same decoration uh, method uh, for my air dry clay cup.
Mary Club cup ready and I will show you the difference between three um, cups. Uh, the first difference that you can notice is the size. Um, I used the same template for all of them um, and uh, the only difference is material and as you can see air dry clay is uh, shrinking less than all other types of clay. Uh, what about the weight? Uh, weight it's even uh, it's even lighter than a porcelain one. Uh, durability. Um, I did uh, this small thing from the air dry clay now just to try to break it. And as you can see, the break kind of easily. I don't need to apply a lot of force for that. And yeah, as you can imagine, I'm not able to break the regular clay. But this one broke easily. So, what can I? tell about the air dry clay. It's the great option for beginners, it's the great option for somebody who decided to try ceramics but have uh, no pottery studio or near to do some uh, minor sculpturing. It's a really good option.